Mark, just kind of in relation to what we were talking about there, really, ISIS have very much not gone away, have they? And indeed might be launching fresh threats to this country. Yes, I mean, many people could be forgiven for thinking that the threat from ISIS has pretty much dissipated. It hasn't really. They've been degraded mm. after years of uh, coalition attacks in Syria and Iraq. They've scattered around Syria and Iraq. They're not the force they were. They've gone to other countries. But they are still, in terms of their ability to reach out and influence others to carry out attacks, uh, they are still a force. Mm. Uh, and they have uh, urged, we've seen a video, urging their followers to carry out fresh attacks in the West. Now, we're not showing that video. We won't go into any real detail about exactly what it shows, except to say uh, that it talks about uh, the need to take up arms and to carry out fresh attacks. It shows pictures in particular of London uh, with the words in English, coming soon. Um, so oh. clearly there's concern because any time, and Peter will know this uh, as well as anyone, any time the propagandists at ISIS or al-Qaeda, wh whichever extremist group, yeah. reaches out and urges its followers to do things like this, there are often people that will take up uh, that particular gauntlet and, and go off and do that same thing. Now, we should say this is not something you can go and watch on YouTube. It's on an encrypted uh, messaging yeah. service that extremists will use. But clearly, they've got access to it, and that's a concern. Well, they've got access to it, and I suppose whichever way we dress it up, it is a call to arms, in a way. Peter, I know this has just kind of been landed on you, really, but you must have some experience in this field. How concerned should the British public be? I hope people take this in the right way. It, it does feel like it's been quite a while since we've had a terror attack in this country, which makes me a bit nervous. It does indeed, but we need to be concerned, and mm. counter-terrorism police and the security services will be responding. I'd like to issue a note of caution, if I may. Please, to your viewers and your listeners, do not allow your inquisitiveness mm, to get nice. the better of you. Do not go searching for this video, because what you will do is generate more traffic and make it more difficult for the security services and counter-terrorism police to monitor the traffic. And through that monitoring, often that enables them to identify somebody, an IP address, even if it's gone through a virtual private network, which may lead them to somebody yeah. who could be influenced. So please, you don't need to watch it. It's not that relevant or enlightening. Okay. Just avoid it, please, everybody.